Hello guys and welcome back. In the last section, we added some configurations from Firebase into our Angular application. Now it's time for us to install some packages that would be required uh, when we want to interact with the Firebase uh, backend. So I'll install uh, some packages here. So I'll type in npm space i for install and uh, I'll install Firebase and Angular Fire 2. And I'll also save them so that they are added to my package uh, .json file in the dependencies object. So let's wait for them to get installed. While that gets installed, let's uh, quickly see what exactly uh, needs to be done to add Firebase to our Angular applications. So first inside the app module, we'll be importing these two modules. The first one is the Angular Fire module. Uh, we need to call a method named initialize app on this module and pass it the configuration that we initially created inside our environment. And then we are also going to import the Angular Fire database module because we are going to use the database uh, or Angular Fire database uh, from Firebase. Then the second thing that we'll be doing is inside a service that we want to interact with Firebase, we are going to import the Angular Fire database and the Angular Fire list from uh, the database module of Angular Fire 2. And then we are going to inject the Angular Fire database as a dependency uh, using our constructor. Then we can simply call a list method on the Firebase object that we just uh, injected as a dependency. And we can pass it the name of a collection that we want to fetch. And then we will uh, be seeing in the later sections of uh, uh, the series how exactly we can perform CRUD operations using Firebase. So let's quickly do that. Uh, I'm going to open my app folder and inside the modules, I'm going to import some dependencies. So I'll import them from Angular Fire 2 slash uh, just from just angular fire i'm just gonna import angular fire module like so and then i'm also going to import from angular fire 2 slash database and from here i'm gonna import angular fire database module like so i'll also add it to the imports array so i'll first call the angular fire module initialize app method and I'm going to pass it the environment dot firebase config and uh, I'm also going to use the angular fire database module and add it to the import array like so. All right, uh, that is being uh, processed now. Uh, I want to now use the Firebase or I want my user service to interact with the Firebase database now because uh, I have this application here and I already have a user form that we created while we were working on a template driven form. So my intention here is that once I click on submit then I should add the data that we or the user inputs from here into the database inside a collection named users. So for that, I'll click. Uh, I'll quickly add these things to the database, uh, or I'll quickly add some code to integrate Firebase with our service. So I'm gonna add the Angular Fire database from, and it's already imported from at the top, like so. So I'll just use that, and uh, now inside the constructor. I'm going to inject this as a dependency. So let's call this Firebase and uh, this is going to be of type Angular Fire Database like so. And here we are going to initialize. Let's create a variable here first. I'm going to call it. Uh, this is going to be private. And I'm going to call it uh, user list which is going to be of some type. Let's uh, specify the type as any right now. We'll see what this type is. So user list is going to be equal to. Now I'm going to call 
a method on Firebase named list and I'm going to pass it the name of a variable that's going to be users like so. The result or the return type of this list object is uh, or this list method is going to be angular fire list. So I should specify this type as angular fire list of type any and uh, I'm going to import that as well from angular fire to slash database. And now we are good to go uh, in the next video onwards. We are going to add some methods for applying or for performing CRUD operations on our Firebase database. So I'll see you guys in the next video.